Y'all ain't subscribed yet? Man, like, share, subscribe. Hit that like button right now. The truth is, we are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. What we trying to show our people is, according to the Bible, who we are as a nation of people. We need to let our people know that the truth is our nationality, our history, our culture. Everything is in the Bible. Let me get uh, let me get the, what the truth is. Give me Psalms 119, 142. Bring it out. Psalms chapter 119 and verse 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. The Bible says the laws is the truth. The Bible is the truth. The laws. Hey, my family. Why not y'all come on down here and talk to us for a minute? Because we're just going in the Bible trying to show our people what the truth is. Do y'all know what the truth is? Read that again. Psalms chapter 119 verse 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. Hey, our people are out here breaking the laws and commandments of God because they don't really know what the truth is. Right. Keeping the commandments of God is the truth. Like today, our people, they buying and selling because you don't understand that today is the Sabbath day. This is the day that the Lord have given us to worship him. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, get that in Exodus chapter uh, Exodus 20 and 8. Exodus chapter 20 verse 8 remember the seventh day our people you black hispanic and native american y'all have forgotten that today is the seventh day the bible says remember remember read remember the seventh day to keep it holy six days shall thou labor and to do all thy work but the seventh day is the seventh of the lord thy god our people think the seventh day is Sunday. No, if you look at your calendar, you will realize today is the day you're supposed to be worshiping. Today is the day that the Lord gave us to be out here. We're supposed to be worshiping him on the Sabbath day. It's some more things that we're not supposed to be doing that we're, we forgot. We forgot about what we are not supposed to be doing on the Sabbath day. And number one, we're breaking the laws. We are buying and we are selling today. And that's not what we're supposed to do. Give me that, Miramar. You got what I want? How y'all doing, family? Come on up. Come on up. You got that? Hey, how y'all doing? Hey, how y'all doing? Hey, step on up here right quick because what we're trying to show, according to the Bible, these, this is what the truth is. And we know, if you know the truth, that'll set you free. So what's your name, sir? Russell. Ru Russell? And what's your name? Melendra? Okay, now, what is your nationality, Melinda, according to the Bible? Would you know? You wouldn't know what your nationality is according to the Bible? What about you, sir? You know your nationality according to the Bible? Okay, so if you was to fill out an application like for a job and they ask you what's your nationality what would you check you would check hispanic okay on this sign over here i'm gonna show you real quick on this side of this sign is what the bible says remember i asked you a question what's your nationality according to the bible and on this side these are the names that was given uh through our uh captives over time so if you say you from if you call yourself hispanic you from the mighty tribe of issachar yeah, you understand that sir do you see yourself on this sign on this side do you see yourself where you see yourself at? Where, where you at mexico okay all praises so according to the bible you are from the tribe of issachar hey uh go ahead and go to uh uh genesis what's that 28 32 yeah because we're gonna read something in the bible to show you your nationality is in the bible so they call y'all mexican hispanic those are not the names that your god giving you according to the bible you from the tribe of issachar now let me ask you one quick question since while he's getting this scripture now now that you know that you're an israelite right because israelite is our nation 
these are the 12 tribes that we come from. So let me ask you a question. Do y'all know our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ also is an Israelite and he come from the tribe of Judah? So let me ask you this question. What color is Jesus Christ? Is this Christ? Is this Christ right here or is that Christ? What would you think? You don't know. What about you? You don't know. Okay, well, step over here. I'm going to show you something. Go, go ahead and uh, let's, let's go. Um, let's drop that and let's go to Revelations. Because it's important, number one, you know who you, who you are according to your nationality. Now it's also important that the most important person that ever walked on this earth, Jesus Christ, you need to know his description, what he looks like, right? Okay, watch this. We're going to go in the book of Revelation. Read Revelation chapter uh, 1. Uh, let's just start at 1 real quick. This is the book of Revelation. Chapter 1, verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The word revelation, the root word is the revealing. We about to reveal what Christ looked like according to the Bible. Finish that up. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servant things which must shortly come to pass. Go ahead, drop down to verse 14. So now we about to reveal what Christ looks like according to the Bible, right? Because y'all said y'all don't really know, right? Okay, let's find out. Go ahead. Revelations chapter 1 verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So it says Jesus Christ, the hairs on his head and his beard was what color? White. White. And it was woolly. So who got woolly hair today on the earth? Who got woolly hair? White people. No, no. They got, look, this guy got stringy hair. He got stringy hair. Now think about a sheep. You ever seen a sheep? Y'all ever seen a sheep? They, they cut the, uh, the wool. Who got hair like that sheep? Jesus do, but if you look around, look at, look at, look at this. Look, 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 look at that. Is that, is that, is it his hair? Is it kind of like sheep? Okay, so the real reeling of Jesus Christ has said his hair was white in color and it was woolly in texture, right? Read on. Revelations chapter 1 verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his feet like unto fine brass. It says Jesus Christ, because John was looking, and he saw Jesus Christ's feet. And he described his feet as being what? What color? White. Nope. Read that again. And his feet like unto fine brass. Fine brass. What color is fine brass? It's like a gold. It's in a derivative of brown, right? So watch this. Let's see how brown, let's see how brown that uh, brass is. Read on. As if they burned in a furnace. It says that brown, it looked like it was burned in a furnace. So what, what, what color is Jesus Christ based on that? He's a black man. That's right. Our Lord and Savior is a black man. This is a more of a description. Now, we're not saying this is him, but this is more of a description than this. Because we know these are the lies that our people has been told. So give me that John 8, 32 again. Because what's happening is we are being deceived. How old are you, sir? What's your name again? I'm sorry. Russell. Russell. I'm, I'm Officer Daniel. What's your name again? Madeline. Russell, listen. You just found out that you're an Israelite from the tribe of Issachar. How old are you, sir? You 62 years old and you just now finding out that you belong to the nation of Israel. Right. You've been looking at TV all this time and, and, and they say uh, Jew-ish. They show them white folks over there. But you're the Jews. Right. You're the Jews. Now we just went in the Bible and showed you, according to the Bible, that Jesus Christ is a what color man? So, so they've been hiding... They've been hiding that from you from 60, how many years? 62 years they've been hiding that from you. Hiding it from you, man. They, you are the greatest people that walked on the face of this earth. But you know what happened to us? You know what happened to us? We got, well, you know what? How about, I'm going to say this. 
Is blacks and Hispanics and Native American, are they cursed? Do you say they curse? Yeah, we curse. We, we, you go into the, the ghettos, the baddest places to live, who gonna be there? Right. We're gonna be there. They poison our water. They poison our food. Right. They, live, they have us living stacked on top of each other. But you know why that happened though, right? I'm gonna tell you why. The reason why you don't know that you didn't know that you was an Israelite from the tribe of Issachar, and you didn't know that Jesus Christ was a black man because of these curses. And guess what? It's documented in the Bible. This show history. I'm about to show you something, right? Go to Deuteronomy uh, 1 and 1, and then we're going to go to 2815 real quick. Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. It says Moses spoke to who? All Israel, right on. Now this is this is what he this is what he told the Israelites. He said, "Listen, we got blessings if we listen to God, and we will be a cursed people if we didn't." So I'm about to show you. Go to Deuteronomy 28, 15, and I'm gonna show you a couple of curses so you can know for a fact, according to the Bible, you are the people of the Bible. Read that. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. The Bible says this is what's going to happen if you do not hearken. Hearken means listen. Read. To observe, to do all his commandments. It says some of his commandments. To do all his commandments. Y you understand that, right? We got to do all of God's commandments. Read. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So now we about to go over some curses because I'm going to tell you, as a nation of people, we just did not listen to our God. God is not the God of, of all the nations. He only dealing with who's on that sign, you blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans. Give me uh, verse 32. Hey, how you doing, sir? How you doing? Okay, come on over here. I want to talk to you. Bring her over here, too. I just want to talk to you because I want to show. Just stay right here and listen to the scripture. Read verse 32 right quick. Watch this. We're in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. And I'm showing them that black, Hispanic, and Native American, that we're our cursed nation of people. And God prophesied in the Bible what was going to happen to his peoples. Now watch this. Go ahead. Verse 32. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Now I'm going to talk to you. God say a curse. All right, sir. God say a curse that your sons and daughters was going to be given to another nation of people. Did that not happen? Uh, I'm not sure. Well, it's happening right now. It's happening right now. Let me, let me explain something to you. Do you know what's going on at the Texas borders? Bring it out. Yeah. The, 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 do you know what's going on in the California borders? Right. You got children in what they call like concentration camps. Right. Right. They, split them all apart. they split apart. You understand that. So that's what the Bible says what's going to happen to us if we don't listen to God. He said he was going to split you apart from your kids. It isn't, it, isn't it odd? Isn't it odd they'll say that you're illegal and this is your land? Right. And then they're going to take your kids from you and you can't get them back. Right. What, kind of, what kind of crap is that? But that's, that's what the curses is talking about in the Bible. That's how you know that you are part. What other nation of people can go through that? Right. Is the white man going through it? What about the Arabs? Chinese? Ain't nobody going through that. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. Every day, people been taken away from their kids, and their kids is over there on the border concentration camps, and that's all they can do is wonder what's happening to their sons and daughters. They don't know. That's what it says. Their eyes is longing. They up there just daydreaming, wishing that they can have their kids back. Read. And there shall be no might in thine hand. When it says no might, 
We ain't got no military. They'll take our kids, and guess what? What we gotta do? We can't do anything about it. We ain't got, we can't do nothing about it, but hope and pray that God will provide a way for us to get our kids back. All right, let's, let's look at another curse. Now, go to verse 48. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. Now, God says you got enemies that he, that God sent against us, us blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans. Read. In hunger. It says in hunger. Hey, how you doing, my brother? Come on over here for a minute. Because uh, my name is Officer Daniel. How you doing, sir? I'm showing them some curses in the Bible. Do you know your nationality according to the Bible? No. You don't know? So let me, come on over here real quick, real quick. Because look, this is why we out here. Because, okay, what, what's your name, sir? Vega? Vane? Okay, I'm Officer Daniel Vane. It's good to meet you, sir. So, hey, just stay right there because I want to finish this script out. Real quick, can you find yourself on this side of the sign? Yeah. What? You from Haiti? Yeah. So you from the mighty tribe of Levi, according to the Bible. Okay, well, come on, because there's a lot going on in Haiti. So watch this. I'm explaining to them, according to the Bible, that blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans are cursed because we did not listen to the commandments of God. Go ahead, read that uh, 48. Start over. Read, read it from the top. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. Therefore... Shalt thou serve thine enemies? It says we're going to serve our enemies. And when it says serve our enemies, we going to be working for them. We're going to be following their laws, what they come out with, right? We don't make no laws. So that's when it means we're going to be serving them. We're going to be working for them. Read. Which the Lord shall send against thee. God sent our enemies against us. In hunger. In hunger. So... When you hungry, where do you got to go to get you some food? Where? You can, if you can grow your own food, yeah. But on, for the average person, do we do that? Do we have land where we can grow our own food? No, we don't. We get the seeds. Yeah, that's true. Because, hey, you got to get the seeds from your enemies. That's how you serve your enemies. So when you want some food, where you got to go? You got to go to our enemies. You got to go to your enemies because right. Walmart, other places that sell food, McDonald's, uh, uh, Subway, we don't own these things, do we? We don't own these things, do we? So you know in your country right now, y'all going through a lot right now, right? And you understand that that's a curse because being from the tribe of Levi, y'all once was the priesthood according to the Bible, right? But we fell very low because we did not listen to the laws of God. Read on. And in thirst. When we thirsty, where we got to go? Do we own that? No, we don't. So we got to serve our enemies for water. Read. And in nakedness. When we want clothes, we don't own no textile. So who we got to go and buy our clothes from? We got to go to the store that we don't own, right? right? That's how we serving our enemies. Is that it on that? Go ahead. And in once of all things the bible says because we broke god laws and wouldn't listen for the works of all things driver license birth certificates you understand you want education you got to go to your enemies anything you want anything a business license a car anything you want an airplane ticket a passport what you got to do you got to go to your enemies enemies because we wouldn't listen to god Go ahead, read. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. is community.